Yep, that's what we do when we're going to highlight some great journalism. Let's get to a story now that we think is worth your time. It comes from the Oregonian newspaper and it takes a deep dive into Oregon's mental health landscape. What they found probably won't surprise you. Oregon's not doing that great when it comes to addressing mental health needs. The headline is Oregon ranks miserably for addressing mental health. The reasons are complex. The reporter found that Oregon is one of the worst states in the country if you're trying to get mental health care and that those rankings are consistently bad year after year. The reporter behind the story, Nicole Hayden, talked to a mom named Jennifer about the trouble she had finding mental health care for her young son, Grayson, when they moved to Oregon. He had bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and they struggled to find a mental health care provider that had openings. Eventually, Grayson's mental health got worse. It meant they had to uh, use the emergency uh, room system much more. And that's not a sustainable way to treat mental health. It meant that he would be stabilized in emergency care, be given a very, very small dosage of meds. And then when he was discharged, told to follow up with an appointment, but the nearest appointment would be months and months out. And the meds would have um, ran out within a week. And so with that kind of system, you're causing this just snowball effect of severe symptoms that are untreated. You're up and down giving meds, releasing, not getting long-term care. Mm, not fun. Grayson's story ended tragically. He self-medicated with hard drugs, went to jail, and then eventually died by suicide. Hayden covers homelessness for the Oregonian, and she says she hears similar stories a lot. There's a lot of deep, complicated discussions right now um, at the city level, county level, state level about how do we solve the homelessness crisis. And I think that's where my interest always stems from. You know, a lot of the folks I work with, um, you know, didn't end up on the street because uh, they made bad decisions. They ended up on the street because they were victims of these terrible systems we have in place. We can't meet people's needs. Like we're pricing people out of their homes. And then on top of it, you know, we're causing all this stress of affordability. And then we can't even provide the things we promised to provide, which are just basic mental health services. You can read the whole story on OregonLive.com. Hayden also looks into the shortfall in insurance coverage and the trouble finding care in rural areas.